Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Byrne. It's time for the Thursday afternoon, just before Friday, Monday morning podcast. And I'm just checking in on you. I can't yell it. I am in New York City right now, and I'm. it's late. I forgot, you know, today was Thursday, and I had to do the, po- the podcast, so I apologize for it being late. I, um, I don't know. I, I, uh, I don't know. I wasn't thinking the fuck do you want from me and all of a sudden i landed and i got a bunch of tweets from people going dude i thought you were going to check in on me i was like oh i'm letting people down i'm letting you down so here i am i'm checking in so now you're gonna hear it on a friday unless you're some lonely bastard on the west coast you know still up or some lonely lady um anyways so i just got here to new york because i'm doing foxwoods this weekend and um since i left new york my neighborhood has become extremely gay. And I don't mean it in the way that all the gay people don't like when you say that neighborhood's gay, like it stinks. I mean, like literally gay. I mean, men attracted to men, you know? There's gay guys up and down this tripping over each other. And let me tell you something. Nobody's complaining, honey, right? So here's the deal. When, when gays move into your neighborhood, there's three stereotypes that everybody says. You know, when gay people move into the neighborhood, these are the three things everybody says, right? They say, number one, right? What do they say? They say the neighborhood's going to become safer, right? Number two, they say property values are going to go up. And number three, they say there's going to be all these great new fucking restaurants and holy shit, the cuisine's going to be fucking unbelievable. Thank God the gays showed up. Now this neighborhood can fucking, you know live up to its potential well they showed up definitely got safer definitely less shady all right so check on the first one stereotype number two uh the fuck did i say it was oh property value would go up yeah it did but i mean it's new york it goes up everywhere but you know what you know what it's an election year i don't want to derail the podcast campaign i'll give you credit on that one gay people it got safer And the property values went up. And then lastly, all this great cuisine was going to come here. And you know what? It still hasn't showed up. The food in my neighborhood absolutely fucking sucks. And I am so sick of it. Okay? Now, God damn it. I was told when these gays showed up that the fucking food was going to get better. And I I think not only has it not gotten better, it's actually taken a nosedive. I just went out and got a burrito, right? What kind of asshole leaves Los Angeles and then tries to get a burrito in New York? You're listening to him. This asshole. All right? The burrito was fine. You know? Chicken burrito. Whatever. It was funny. You know, I looked at the menu. It was all this fucking shit. I just looked at the the waiter. I felt like I disappointed him. I was like, can I just get some chips and with guacamole salsa and like a just like a chicken burrito? And I just saw it in his eyes. Like, oh, you want white people Mexican food? And I was like, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> i am as white as it gets and i will have my mexican food as white as i am please right um and before you know mexican people write in and tell me that's not real mexican food i understand i get it all right whatever that's what the fuck i wanted here's my question how do you have all these gay people walking up down the street and you can't even make decent guacamole how the fuck does that happen you know who do i blame in this are gay people slipping is it because these are the millennial gays and they're just emoji in each other? You know, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm blaming the gays. I'm blaming you guys on this one. All right. Whatever pressure you used to put on a fucking neighborhood, you're not doing it anymore. Or what you decided not to do it in my neighborhood. I was so fucking, you know, the anticipation of once you guys descend in on this one straight, shady fucking neighborhood, you know? And the rainbow flags came out and all this shit. When the fuck is the food truck getting here? That's what I want to know. Fucking pizza sucks. The fucking guacamole sucks. The Middle Eastern food sucks. The whole fucking thing just sucks. Everything is just like, it's... Do you know how much I drink when I'm in my neighborhood? It's just so the fucking food will taste. It's all like, just get shit-faced and, and make it fill up that hole in your stomach. Oh, maybe that's why all these gay guys are in such great shape around here. 
<laughs> the, they're cooking at home. Ah, fuck. Ah, that pisses me off. I just had a fucking goddamn chicken burrito and guacamole this late at night. So at my age, I, you know, I'll probably have a heart attack around 830 in the morning. You know, at least it could have tasted good, right? Why is that fucking button on? Now it's off. I wonder if you guys can hear this shit. Yeah, whatever. What the fuck are you going to do? I don't know why the fuck I bring my mixer and all this stuff. God damn it, I'm in a grumpy mood. And I was in such a great mood. There's nothing worse than when you're starving and you go out and you order a fucking meal, right? In a neighborhood that's now a gay neighborhood and it sucks. I mean, I'm talking literally like the two dudes next to me at the end of their fucking meal, right? They fucking like kissed each other tenderly. Can I at least get some fucking decent guacamole? How much gayer does it got to be around here for <laughs> someone to get a decent burrito? So I learned something. That stereotype is, uh, is not true. Just because they show up doesn't mean the chefs are going to start fucking throwing down. They're dropping the fucking ball. I'm not going to lie to you. When the two went to kiss, okay, as, as open-minded as I am, I have to admit I was wearing a baseball cap and I tilted it down so I didn't see their lips meet. You know, does that make me a bad person? If you're judging me, can I just tell you that one of them looked like that that fucking scrawny little dude that J Lo married? Just imagine that guy kissing Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> you know, forgive me. I didn't want to see it. You know, maybe that makes me a bad person, but whatever. I am a work in progress, just like everybody else. And I will have a decent bowl of fucking guacamole, you sons of bitches. 